Hello students and welcome again to my channel. My name is Mr. Meshak Ngige and welcome to e Math with Ngige. I hope you are learning. I hope you are really benefiting from uh, the tutorials that you are doing in this channel. Kindly, if you are doing so, kindly remember to subscribe, share and comment to other colleagues so that they may be able to benefit in this, uh, through this channel. Uh, so kindly, today we are going to be checking complex variables, uh, continuation from what we checked in the last lesson. Remember these are series on our complex variables and um, last lesson we checked on our analytic functions now today we check on something called uh, harmonic function then from there we shall check on functions which are combined we are supposed to check if a function is harmonic and also to get uh, its conjugate whereby you make it to be analytic now in our case here let's check so for a function to be harmonic I shall just do a definition for function to be harmonic, uh, function to be harmonic, uh, it has to satisfy. Uh, it satisfies. It satisfies either. Remember either of the two. Now, why do we say either? This is because you will be given a function. Remember, a complex function has two parts. Are you together? It has the real part and it also has the imaginary part. So you can be given a function in terms of u alone or you're given a function in terms of in terms of v alone. So therefore, when you're saying either is because you can be given in either of the two. So one of the two conditions can be met depending on the function that you've been given. So we say uh, if a function is harmonic, it satisfies, we say the second derivative of the function u with respect to x plus the second derivative of u with respect to y should always be equal to zero or the second one now is the function the second derivative of a function of x or uh, v with respect to x plus the second derivative of function of v uh, with respect to y also uh, gives you zero so if a function satisfies either of these depending on the function that you've been given then we say that that function is that function is harmonic so now let's check an example or two to prove uh, this so example now we check an example so we have given the function u x y uh, so this one is given in terms of y, uh, in terms of u. Are we together? So this is the real part of the function, uh, part of the function. So we, you have been given by this, then you show that this function is harmonic. So therefore, uh, so given this, so you have u x y equals to x cubed y minus y cubed x. So you find the second derivative with respect to x, the second derivative with respect to y. So first of all, differentiate once, okay? So you only differentiate the part with the variable x. So we have the first one here, which will give us 3x squared y. We also have this one that has an x, so the x goes, you remain with y, y cubed, right together. Then again, the second derivative, uh, so squared, uh, then dy squared. No, sorry, it is in terms with x, sorry. Uh, the derivative is d squared u dx squared so differentiate twice again we have 6x 6xy there is no x variable here so just ignore the second part uh, we just say you treat it as a constant when you differentiate a constant it gives you what it gives you zero then you have du dy now differentiate the function with respect to y so here we shall have x cubed minus then you drop three so three you can just interchange here and you just have your y squared there then the last one is d squared u d uh, y squared so differentiate now this with respect to y there is no y variable here so this just becomes what negative six x uh, negative 6xy and now for our condition to be fulfilled now it will be this condition that when you take the second derivative with respect to x add the second derivative with respect to y the answer will always be zero so therefore 6xy plus negative 6xy and uh, indeed that can be zero you can just prove because this one is just that and your answer gives you zero because this and this 
uh, is the same. So when you subtract the two, the answer gives you zero. So therefore, this particular function here is what? Is harmonic. Let's check a second example. Example two, we have been given the function u, x, y, uh, given by a function of an exponent and cosine. So you show that the function is harmonic. Also the same. So this one is easy. So our u, uh, x, y is given by e negative x cosine of what? Cosine of y. So you do the derivative, okay, with respect to x so you only differentiate the function at x that ha the, that has an x variable so our constant here is negative one so you just drop the negative okay so negative e negative x cos remains the same because it is a constant then d squared u dx squared all right now differentiate again the second time so again drop another negative so when you drop another negative this one becomes what it becomes a positive okay so you shall have e negative x cosine of y all right now let's go with respect to du with respect to y first derivative so with respect to y differentiate the function of y alone so treating this one as a constant when you differentiate cos okay when you differentiate cos you get negative sign so it is negative e negative x sine of uh, sine of y then the second derivative therefore of u with respect to y okay with respect to y squared so again differentiate the function sine the second time okay because this is the one that has the variable y when you differentiate sine you get positive of cos all right so our negative here does not go all right because when you differentiate this you get a positive so you shall have negative e negative x then you get cosine of cosine of y now we know our property says when you take the derivative with respect to x squared the second time with respect to y the second time then when you add the two gives you zero so our second and our second we just take them so e negative x cosine of y plus negative e negative x cosine of y so this one gives us e negative x cosine of y negative uh, positive negative gives you a negative then cosine of y and uh, this term and this term are just the same so your answer is what the answer is zero so you just say what hence uh, harmonic all right so that function is harmonic Therefore, uh, students, that is how you verify if any function is harmonic. So just what you just need to, to know and understand is how to do the derivatives of particular functions. And that said and done, now we stop at that and we meet in the next class where now you are given a function u, uh, one part of the function. Remember this is just a part of a function uh, z, a function of z. So we are just being given the real part. So in the next lesson, we now check. If you are given a function of u, uh, how do you get the other function, we call it the conjugate, that makes the entire function to be analytic? So how do you get your v, x, y, in terms of uh, j, the imaginary part? So kindly remember, subscribe, share, and comment, and I kindly let me know how I can help. Thank you, and see you in the next lesson.